I, uh, now here's the deal. Uh, a couple of years ago, when you have a son, you start doing, you're always looking for shortcuts when you're a parent. Am, am I right? You, you, you got it because you have to conserve, you have to conserve yourself because you just don't know what kind of mayhem they're going to get you into. So you got to pace yourself. Mm. So a few years ago, <coughs> trying to fly a kite, it occurred to me there got to be something easier than flying a kite. And I put two and two together and I said, helium balloons. You, you thought of that. It's the same fun as flying a kite, but much, much easier. <laughs> and so we uh, got a helium balloon, went over to the Party Depot. And, and by the way, if you're asking yourselves, what percentage of business does the Party Depot do, balloon business? What, what percentage does that represent? 50% is balloons at the Party of their, Depot. Of their yeah. business. I mean, you think about all your celebrations, your weddings, your anniversaries, your birthdays, yeah. the holidays. You go over there, you get a bunch of balloons. Well, right. that's, where, that's where they make their money. Yeah, they make right. their money on that. <laughs> Yeah. So uh, we go over there and we got a couple of uh, balloons and, and at first they said, well, you got your 18-inch balloons and those were great. And then we added more and more and more and they'd blow them up and we'd take them home and we'd fly stuff and we'd hook things onto it. And it was so great. And you spend the day uh, just flying balloons. And then uh, the party depot called and says, guess what? We got some 34-inchers in. <laughs> I'll, I'll be right there. So, so now, we, it, it, you got to make several trips because once those things are inflated, uh, first of all, they're a hazard to driving around because you're in your... <laughs> it's like that and you can't see anything. Yes. So uh, this was so much fun and getting to be so much fun and we had a pulley system and we had things hooked up and we were getting close to 1,000 feet straight up. <laughs> I don't think you can do that with a kite, can you? No. No. <laughs> Uh, and, and then there was, uh, last spring, there was that, uh, 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 not a problem, could have been a problem, but the, with the helicopter. But that, Ooh. we were told that legally a helicopter shouldn't have been flying that low. That low, legally. But nonetheless, we said to ourselves, let's, let's stop uh, with the, the balloons because when, you know, you got to call uh, somebody at the airport. That's not good. No. Well, uh, in the meantime, a friend of mine here at work, Jay Johnson, uh, gave me a, a weather balloon. And, and this thing is like 12 feet in diameter. Oh. So over the weekend, it just seemed you know, kind of, ah, smells like balloon weather, I said to myself. <laughs> so uh, me and Harry, we, we get in the car, we go over to the party uh, depot. Guess what? You can now, they'll, 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 they'll rent you a tank of helium. Oh, really? Really? It's no, it's no, and by the way, the party depot has everything. You, you want, like, for a party, a costume party? You, and where do I get Roman soldier sandals? Party depot. They have those. T tiki torch lamp oil? They have Party the depot. Oil Every, everything, yeah. yeah. So we go over there, and I said, really, I can take my own tank? And they said, yes. And I said, well, how much? And she said, about 100 pounds. I don't know what that means, but I thought, yes. So now I got a big <laughs> torpedo, eh, like tank. And I said, will this thing explode? And, and the, she said, no, it's an inert gas. I think that's what she said. I don't know. Uh, so, <laughs> but the problem, if you share, uh, shear the nozzle off of the tank, it, it becomes it, literally a torpedo, and it'll kill you. <laughs> if, if you. If you drop that tank of helium, it's so highly pressurized, you snap it off, it's a rocket. So you've got to be very careful. That would take the fun out of a kid's birthday party. I say. <laughs> Uh, so we, now we get the balloon and we go back to, to the launch site and we got the crank and we got the thing to put the nozzle on and we, we're ready to go. And I, I said to Harry, I said, this would just be a test. Let's only fill it up about halfway. So we fill it up about halfway and, and halfway on a 12 foot uh, diameter is, is about like this. And the, the son of a bitch takes off like a bat out of hell. <laughs> just, whoa, ow, ow, a lot of, a lot of that, you know. So now we're thrilled. I mean, we're, uh, Harry is jumping up and down, and I said, you know what, let's crank this thing in and, and regas. We'll regas it. Regas. Regas. And we'll see what we can do. Yeah. And, and, and by the way, get ready to call Guinness. Oh, uh, boy. Uh, so we regas, re and, and somehow, on the second, before the second launch attempt, the dang thing comes untethered. So I'm standing there with a, a, a limp string, and Harry's going, wow! Wow! Look at it go! Wow! Uh, yeah. Mm, this. So uh, I, I realized, okay, uh, I said, uh, Harry, uh, we, we have to, let's go. Uh, we gotta... <laughs> so we're... 
We're watching this thing get smaller and smaller. And uh, honestly, it must have been like 40 miles away like that. It's just gone. And you can just barely see this little dot. And, uh, and I said, well, hey, come on, let's get in the car. And, uh, and he says, hey, Daddy, where are we going? And I said, we, I have to go call the FAA <laughs> and, and tell them that there may be, and now I feel like that guy on, the balloon guy, the balloon dad. The balloon See, I'm going to be on CNN You're all day. Yeah. balloon dad. Uh, Dave, it's Dave the balloon dad. Insane balloon dad. Yeah. <laughs> So I said, uh, I, I, we, we have to call the FAA yeah. because we have to tell them uh, w what we have done because we don't want there to be trouble. We don't want this to be a hazard yes. navigation. Huh. We have to tell them what we've done. Okay. And Harry says, did you pick up all the evidence? Ah, uh, he, he. <laughs> <laughs> What? Who are you? I'm telling you, get over to that party depot. They'll treat you right, they ladies do. and gentlemen.